Hey guys, welcome back to another live game. Human Territory playing some Kazakh's Jungle and I'm rather excited because Shad's here with us today, as you can see down in the corner, and I'm wearing my Shad outfit. Look at me. I got my Shad jumper on with my Shad my Shad tie, the same as his coat. We're matching. We've got the same outfit on today. So the, the amazing synergy already coming through. Hopefully my bot lane support have good synergy as well. So they can do some cool things, but they probably won't be able to match the corners that we're having right now. So, we're playing some Kha'Zix today, guys. Why? Just because of fantasy night. Playing some Kha'Zix. Runes of Marshes, AD Reds, AD Quints, or Attack Speed Quints. Armor Yellows, MR Blues. Uh, and for your Marshes, go 12, 18, 0. <coughs> there, excuse me. With either Thunderlords or with uh, Storm Raiders. Am I Storm Raiders this game? Yes, I'm Storm Raiders this game. So Thunderlords or Storm Raiders, I would say is preference. If you're new to Kha'Zix, I'll just say go Storm Raid, uh, go Thunderlord, sorry, just for more damage. If you're more experienced on him, uh, you, you're you probably, yeah. I, I feel like the better I get at Kha'Zix, the more I lean towards Storm Raiders. But I also think it's pref personal preference. So we're actually playing versus a Singed Jungle this game, which is really interesting. When they picked Singed and Maokai, I assumed it was a Maokai Jungle and a Singed Top, but... Nope, it's a Singed Jungle. Uh, I don't really know what he's going to be doing. This game, uh, I would imagine he would. I don't. I honestly don't know. Really, I don't know what his plans are. So, uh, I actually have no idea. I really, genuinely have no idea what he's trying to do. <laughs> so we'll see, won't we? Uh, but still, he he will most definitely, assuredly, definitely will not be able to one v one. Prob one v one me, and most likely he will not be able to match me if I ever go for a play either. So. I'm not really expecting to be too pressured by him. But we can go from here. You don't never want to chase Singe, guys. But this guy's really low. Did I just get flipped? Oh, okay, I'm actually going to die here, aren't I? I'm chasing a Singed, guys. I'm chasing a Singed. Do you know what the rule is? Don't, cha don't chase Singed. Is this... Okay, yeah. I'm still chasing him. He's in that bush, right? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. I could have probably killed him there if I played that better. I could have killed him, I think. Ha okay, please don't. I know you had not, like, if, if Azir had some awareness, we would have killed Singed here. But, please don't die to the Mel guy gank afterwards. That's okay, though. Uh, honestly, getting what I got out of it was fine. It's a shame that I wasn't able to get the Scuttled Crab, though. That, that's, that does suck. But, uh... All in all, that was fine, but my flash was bad. If I if I wanted to flash there, I should have flashed straight away. And I also could have perhaps positioned in such a way that I wasn't flung over a wall. Because that was a bit of a, you know, yeah. Probably could have done that a bit better. But I also wanted to try and get close to the blast cone so he wouldn't blast cone away. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go bot lane here. I'm just going to go bot lane straight away. Screw it. Now is not a bad time to go bot. The thing is, like, if I were... Close to level 4, I'd want to go for the Grump first, but there's no real need for me to go for Grump. It's not like it's going to level me up. So I may as well just come down and go with Blitzcrank and see if we can get something going here. Alright, here we go. I've slowed her. Nice. I do not know if the dive is what we want, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a bad heal. Alright, whatever. Be careful, mate. Minions hurt. Alright, that's cool. So we get first blood on it. Yeah, probably probably didn't even need to die there either. So that 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 was very ballsy, but I think that it was fine. Let me smite this. I'm on two stacks of smite. I hate having two stacks of smite. It triggers me. Alright, but now we do need to farm for a little bit. We have a whole jungle up though, which is good. Um, but we have spent a lot of time here just ganking and we have no we have no experience here, so we're, we're definitely lacking in that department. Singe is taking a decent amount of lane lane XP here as well by pushing this lane in. Which I need to be careful of because it means that he's going to have an XP advantage over me. And I don't really want to be in a situation in the jungle where the enemy jungler is like a higher level than me or just stronger than me in general. So I need to I need to be careful I guess to that extent. Alright, I'm just going to go through like my whole jungle here. I don't really see much... Why did we... Why did we see Maokai there? 
What was that? I don't know. Uh, I don't really see any need to go top lane at all, really, this game. Uh, the great thing about picking Nasus into tanks is that tanks usually give you a free lane. So unless you get camped, like ganked a lot, usually you just sit in that lane and you get your stacks and you're fine. So, and I, honestly, I feel like that's what this Nasus is going to do this game as well. Just get free farm and he's he does have free farm, so I think he should be fine. So I don't need to go top. Uh, I guess what I should do is just try and make sure Singe isn't ganking a lot. Just protect my lanes a little bit and make sure I don't die to these Krogs. That would probably be a good thing as well. You know what? I'm not even going to take that one. I could take that one, but I just want to recall here and get to blue. Honestly, if we just chill out here, I don't have to do anything. So I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled on the mini-map, see what's going down, see if I have any opportunities to maybe go for some plays, go for some kills, but I, I don't feel pressure to to force things. I could go for, by the way, my, my choice of smite item here, red smite, blue smite, green smite, completely preference here, I would say. Uh, I, I, I feel like norm... Well, I don't know. Maybe if you've gone Storm Raiders, blue smite is worse. But I, I quite like... The idea of having it versus the Singed. But anyway, I really want to get level 6 before I look to do too much here. So I'll probably just uh, take this blue, take red, and then I should be in a good spot. I also want to make sure that we're getting pressure bot side of the map. Because then that, it means that it's easy for us to go for the Infernal Dragon. They want to go for it now. We can go for it now. If these guys want to go for it now, now's a pretty good time. We can definitely two man it. If I were level six, this would be a lot easier with my evolved Q. I can actually tank this because I can just recall as well. Is she gonna? Please? Okay, as soon as bot side. Yeah, he's not level six, sorry, that's good. Okay, would you really want to drag him into this pit, Blitzcrank, mate? Dragon's gonna kill him. Where's Zed? I should have smited Dragon here, I think. That would have healed me. Yeah, this was... We just should have... We just should have taken Dragon. We should not have grabbed Singed into the pit there. I feel like that was a... That was a mistake. But what was that? Ultimately, that was what? A one for two? So that, that could have been worse, I guess. But still... I feel like it would have been better to go zero for zero. <laughs> but get Dragon. All right. But I feel like I could have played that one better still. I should have, sm well, Smite and Dragon wouldn't have done anything. Like, I was on zero health and I died to Zed, but I could have been on, like, three times the amount of health and Zed would have still killed me there. I could probably could have been on four health and he would have killed me there. I saw Malkai disappear this way. Is he on my red? He is on my red. I had a feeling he might be there, because I saw him go into our jungle on the, like, where Nasus was there. I didn't think he... That's weird. I didn't think he would do that, though. If he was at a Jax or something, he could have actually taken it, but... That was interesting. I don't think I could have flashed on to kill him there, because he was right by the Blast Cone, so... Alright, thanks for the leash, though, buddy. What is that? If Azir would, would move, we could just... Collapse on him here. Alright, he's moving. So I'm going to smite him. We can go for this now, but I don't have a smite, so... But I, it should be free, because we just killed the enemy jungler. Good shit. Beautiful. Steady on there, Vayne. I'm pretty low here, mate. God damn. Oh my god. Yo, that Janna cult blocked the shite out of me there. Holy shit, what the hell. Well, I, I was like this close to just one shot and go there as well. I didn't get my auto queue off. Holy shit. But that, that Janna ulti was really bloody irritating. Because <laughs> uh, Zaya did not see me there. She did not see me there at all. She wasn't paying attention, but Janna was. All right, well, that was bad. We did get Infernal Dragon, which is nice, I guess, but... God damn. Interesting. Your has been they might go and dive top lane, actually, here with Zed.
I think Zed might be coming top. Yeah, there he is. The reason I'm not running top though is because, firstly, if Zed didn't show there, I'll be wasting a lot of time. And secondly, I s saw Blitzcrank running up. Uh, so I had, I had faith that they would be able to stop the dive with just those two, which is exactly what happened. Respect the singe though. Alright, I really need my Warren shot. This, <coughs> excuse me. Difference between Warhammer and Warrior Enchant is pretty big, honestly. Look how much AD I get from this. Boom, 40 AD. That's ridiculous. Well, 35, right? Yeah, 35. Warhammer gives you 25 AD. Warrior Enchant gives you 60 AD, and it costs 500 gold to upgrade. So 500 gold is 10 AD, right? Because you could only buy a longsword of that amount of gold. But you actually get 40 AD for completing it. It's a ridiculous amount of AD compared to just having Warhammer. So as soon as you can afford your War Enchant, go back and buy that shit, because it's it's massive. Honestly, I'd say it's the same for, like, Runic Echoes, and to a lesser extent, Cinderhulk. If you, as soon as you can afford them, just go back and buy them. Alright, we should, we're still in a good spot, though, I think. We're not, we're not too worried about this. I'm a little bit worried about Zai getting ahead, considering she's got the Ardent support as well. But uh, all in all, it should be okay still. Okay, it looks like they're actually fighting here. I want to make sure I'm farming still though. These chickens are level 8 and I'm level 7, which means they give me extra experience at killing them. So I definitely, I don't want to fall too far behind in levels. So being level 8, it's like close to the enemy team. Like it's the same as Zaya. A little bit lower than the solo laners, but still. Let's put some vision down. Can I defend this tower here? I don't want to go too aggro though. Because Zed was just here, so does he have... Yeah. He has coin, not targons. We can fight here, actually. He's kind of by himself. Mm, I might be able to loop around here. Zed's top and Maokai showed bot side. Or the, ran bot side, I guess I should say. Oh, wow. Look how much damage I have. Holy shit. Nice. Good stuff. Missed my W there like a monkey. That was pretty bad. Oh, nice. Oh. She hurts. Who's that? Is that Zed? Vain, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Straight keep suiciding. Am I dead? Fuck, I had a feeling that it might be warded. I should have checked with my control ward. But he did flash on top of my face there, which is kind of awkward. Uh, whoa, okay. If Nasus was going to join us here, he should have joined us earlier. It's a good grab though, that might kill him. Nice. Yeah, he should have came a lot earlier here. If he was going to come, I think he should have come earlier. Uh, okay. I'm just going to go for lethality here. Rather than tier 2 boots. Get my damage going down. I'm kind of... 0, 3, and 5. God damn. I honestly don't feel too bad about this game so far though. But I am quite... Uh, quite worried, I guess, about my my execution. This game has been pretty poor. Like, I've just I've just felt. Do you, do you guys know when sometimes you just feel kind of clunky in what you're doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, you just lack kind of like fluid fluidity. I'm chatting shit, but you you guys know what I mean, right? I feel like that. But the uh, game is very good still. With Vayne, Azir, they're, they're high damage champions. Uh, plus you have the Nasus who's just endlessly stacking. Go for, go for Blitzcrank, god damn it. Another one. So yeah, we, as long as we don't go too crazy, we should be fine. Honestly, Kha'Zix late game is not terrible either. I should be able to assassinate people.
We can get this guy, I think. Nice. Don't want to go too, too overextending, though, because the enemy team will be coming from mid. I'm going to push this wave out. I need to tax a bit more. I'm not taxing at all this game. Considering I'm not, like, getting it. Oh, gosh, we're fighting. Okay, that's good. Can I just keep pushing this wave, then? I mean, we're going for dragon. Do I want to go for dragon with my team? Oh, gosh. Nice. I have no smite anyway, so... <laughs> Probably wouldn't make much difference. Oh, shit. I see you, Zed. Zed is in that bush. <laughs> it's not what I want to face check. Nice. No, again, we have to respect Zed. We know he was just behind us. There we go. So we know he's probably going to come from behind us here and try and do something. We can't tower dive here, but even if I sit here, I might be able to catch someone. I've got to, I've got to stand here though, because I need to see if if Zed comes around, because I can't. I, I don't, I don't want to trap Zed. <laughs> I don't mind trapping someone else, but not Zed. Oh god, my ultimate's up really soon here. Oh my goodness. What the hell is I? I was barely even looking at my health bar there, and I'm just, it's just melting. She must have crit me a lot there, right? I took a lot of damage in a sh short amount of time. All right, not bad. We can afford Dust Vader, right? Nope. 100 gold. God damn it. All right, this is probably a Ninja Tabby game, so I may as well go Ninja Tabby now. Uh, I don't like the fact that I'm 100 gold off and I'm not just buying it. I guess I could sell my refillable, but... To be honest, I can make I I yeah I can get like 900 gold kind of quickly here just by farming up my jungle. My whole jungle's up. I can get a little bit of lane tax as well. Oops, a daisy. I want to check and see if they're on that herald. We don't want to lose herald. They are on herald. Hmm. Can I just take it though? Fuck, I'm bad at this game. I thought I could hit the eye as I jumped in, but I, I failed that somehow. And then I smited too early. I thought my smite did a bit more. I left it on, like, well, you saw how much health it was on for Zai to take it, like, straight away afterwards. That was bad. Fuck. It's a shame my ulti was on cooldown, though. It's just come up now, but if I had my ultimate up, I could have done that pretty... a lot easier. I could have... With my ultimate, I can just buy myself time. So I can just, like, go in there, do something, and then pop my ulti, and then just, like, stand around for a few seconds. Kind of just slows the whole play down a bit. So it's easier for me to execute. Anyway, I, I need, like... Come on, guys. Don't take my jungle. I need... 600 gold. This is very important for me to get this dust blade. Without this dust blade, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do too much damage to someone yet. They're not. Well, they're not going to go for it, are they? Like, chill out. How can they go for it anyway? Like, Zai's mid. <laughs> Malkai's bot. They ain't going for that shit. I'm not going to show bot lane, that's for sure, like, if I had shown bot to gank Maokai, maybe that would be bad, but if we can see Zaya mid lane especially, they're not going to three-man Baron. How they probably couldn't even do it at this level, even as four people, let alone three. I should get a sweeper here, actually. Sweep would be really nice. So, I didn't talk much about evolution order this game, but I always evolve my Q first, and then I like getting W second as well. It just means that it's pretty impossible to miss your W. I'm going to try and sneak around here. 
Singe flanking or something. That's probably warded, by the way. Almost guaranteeing that's warded. But I'm uh, I'm gonna recall because I, I can afford my dust blade, and that's really important. Like the difference between dust blade and no dust blade here, it's like the warhammer and no warhammer. You know, like warhammer and more enchant. Okay, so dust blade's so good on the Kazakhs because I it's great on any kind of assassin, but especially on Kazakhs who can oh gosh. Especially on Kazakhs who can reset the passive with his ultimate. Because you've got to be invisible for what is it, like one second or something like that? Oh man, what happened here, boys? Really? Bloody hell, Zed hurts. What the heck? Whew! Okay, how long is it I have to stay in invisible for? One second, yeah. So I can just put my ultimate, stay in that, and then get my dust way back. Okay. We have NASA splitting. All we gotta do is chill. I was in spawn, so it was basically 3v5. I don't see the point of complaining about that kind of stuff, you know, being like, this game's useless, we can't win, we're just watching them do whatever they want to do. It's like, we got a fucking Nasus on our team. This Nasus is a huge problem for the enemy team. Like, they, they have no answers for Nasus at all. Like, zero answers. They, they can't do anything about him. They can't stop him from doing what, from, from doing Nasus things. They just can't stop him. He's too strong. So just play around that fact, you know? Just stop. Making it so the enemy team can just pick us off. Alright. I need to respect Zed here. I've not respected him so far. That's good. Two for one so far is actually fine. I don't know why they put the Rift Hold in mid. I know they were trying to pressure us, but... It didn't really make much sense. Oh shit, that was... <laughs> That's questionable. That's questionable. <laughs> no, no, no. God damn it. I think he's gonna die here. Okay. I'm out of here. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> this guy's not dying. Holy shit. And I baited the shit out of him, haven't I? It's unfortunate I had my E on cooldown, though. Oh god, be careful, buddy. Or not. Alright. I bet the shit out of that Nasus there, but to be fair... Who, who was gonna- who was expecting Nasus to do that? Let's be real. Alright. I think- I, I feel a little bit... <laughs> you know. I think it's fair to say that came out of nowhere. <laughs> I know he's strong, but come on, man. Uh-oh. I had to recall that still, though. That's fine. If, I, if I'm recalling there, like, I'm on... When I'm on 200 health, no way. Z auto-attacks when I'm dead. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna doubt you again, though, Nasus. Next time you go balls deep on a play, I'm coming with you. I baited you there, mate, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think we might still be able to go for it, you know. It's really important, guys, that you buy pink cords as well at this stage of the game. Like, if 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 I could have afforded a long sword, but instead gone a pink ward, that's good. Don't go long swords when you can go pink wards. Five seconds on my smite. Jesus, these guys hurt. I'm gonna try and get like a really long flank here. I mean, I may as well. I'm not gonna be able to just run at them and kill them normally. 
Nah, we're way too low. Oh god. Why? You can't just run into them. Wait, I've... How, how do they see us? I, I have my sweeper on, there's no ward there. Am I stupid? How do they see that? Did, was it was there a ward there the whole time? Or did my sweeper expire or some, some shit? How do they see us there? Legit question. Jesus. Alright. That, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we should have backed off at that one, though. We, we overstay that we really hard. As is getting a little bit too, like, I don't know, feisty here. Not that, like, whenever I say things like that, by the way, I'm not trying to blame or anything like that. I'm generally just making a comment because I, like, if we lose this game, I'm not going to be looking at anyone but myself. Even though I'm not the only one making mistakes, you know? Um, I'm just like, this is no point turning any kind of criticism outward when there's so much more I can be doing this game. Like, I just need to fix my own problems before I start worrying about anyone else's. I'm really squishy though. So, I don't know whether I wanna... I need to get tankier, I guess, but... I don't know whether going Black Fever is the answer there or whether I should just stick to what I'm doing. Because I feel like if Zaya dies or Zed dies, that's that's my job done. So I don't really need... Like, going full lethality is fine still. What the fuck? I didn't even think I'd take that. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, I need my Yumus anyway, to be fair. Alright, they're grouping bot side. I can sell my refillable now, though, actually. Kill Zaya. Wow, amazing call, Nasus. Just go back. Just chill. We've got a Zero in spawn. I'm in spawn as well. Alright. This Yumu... Oh, gosh. This Yumu should make it easier, though, for me to get in on them. Zed, mate, what are you doing? Nice. Oh, <laughs> wait, who did... This dude just goes? What the fuck? I'm gonna jump way preemptively there, because if he uses his W, I won't be able to jump. <clears throat> Alright, we just gotta chill here. We, If we jump into them, we will die. We have no real good engage, honestly, outside of a Blitzcrank hook. Nice. Bloody hell, she's fast. That's my reboot, it's Janna, I guess. Nice. So, just patience. Like, honestly, we're probably gonna lose that inhibitor anyway. Like, you have the option of either losing the inhib, but trying to contest it. In, an, in a really bad spot and then just like dying and then losing like the whole game rather than just the inhibitor or you can just you know give up what's gone and just try and play a bit smarter and don't force things it's like especially if you're playing champions who you shouldn't be engaging anyway Like on on Kazix, if I if I try and make the big play, I'm probably just gonna die. It's like not worth it. I'm not the person who needs to go in. If I were playing like Jarvan or something though, then yeah, it, I would have more responsibility. All right, let me try and heal up. Are these walls up? Nice. This may just look like I'm being really greedy here, but I'm honestly just trying to heal. Up like with my W and my jungle item and stuff. Nice, this will work. Good stuff. I should be able to just like pop, proper pop Zaya. The only thing I should be lacking is the isolation, but if I catch her, she should she should still die. I know she's fed, but she should still die really fast. Hmm, we've got to be careful of our, our base here. Get the tower, focus the tower. 
Alright, Zaya's dead. Somehow. Is that a game? Nice. Alright, just chilled out. That's good shit. I think it's really important to be able to win games like this where you're not going to play great. I mean, I don't play much Kha'Zix, so <laughs> you can probably tell that. But it's good to play, to be able to win games where you I did not even realize Sinch was alive, by the way. Where you're not having, like, when you're not carrying, when you have bad early games, because just don't tilt either. And, and recognizing what you can be doing and what you should be doing, it's really important to do that shit. Like, I feel like this game had a good grasp of, okay, this is what needs to happen for us to win. This is what I need to be doing. This is what I, you know, what my what my role is as Kha'Zix. And I feel like I did really well there, honestly. It, from that perspective, I wasn't, I didn't carry this game though, so. Halfway through Diamond 4 now. I think that Azir deserves a report though. Just a negative attitude, he gave up. He hard gave up that game, it's really annoying to see that. <coughs> Actually, there's a lot of damage this game. How did Vayne have that much damage? Come on, Vayne, mate. You can do better than that. Did more than Zed. Almost the same as Nasus. Not bad. But I didn't really get the assassinations and stuff. I wasn't really... I don't know. It's not really what you pick as Kha'Zix to do, you know. Anyway, I'm going to peace out now, guys. Thanks so much for watching the gameplay. I hope you like it. Cheek thumbs up if you did. You can subscribe to me for more Legends content. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. And you can catch me streaming at twitch.tv slash foxshop. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. And I will see you in my next video.